Today is Tuesday, May 11th, 2021. My name is Deputy Clerk Jill Blansky. I am calling the City of Muskego Board of Review to order at 4 p.m. And we'll do the roll call. Gary Boisitz. Here. Linda Gurr is absent. Jeremy Kyle. Here. Henry Posbrick. Here. And Mara Spring. Here. We have a quorum present. Uh, also present is our city attorney, Jeff Warchel, and assistant deputy clerk, Kerry Roller. And for the assessor's office, we have Nick DePalma. So uh, let's see here. Statement of public notice. This meeting was noticed in accordance with the open meeting law. And the first order of business is to select a chair. So we will look for a motion um, to nominate someone to be the chairperson. I'll nominate Jeremy. And maybe. Huh? Nominate me. All right. <laughs> and you, I'm sorry, Mark, you second. Okay. That's what happens. <laughs> Was Linda saying that she Do wanted to be off that? Uh, she didn't, she say. didn't say. She, I didn't talk to her about that. I felt like last year she was saying she wanted to be, or she was heading that way. Well, she was just reappointed, I think, last year, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I thought she had been saying that but for a couple she, of years, yeah. but yeah. she yeah. got reappointed, so. Yeah. So we'll told the mayor she's interested. Just do a roll call. We'll do a roll call. Gary Boisitz. Aye. Jeremy Kyle. Aye. Henry Posberg. Aye. Mara Spring. Aye. There are four in favor. So, Jeremy, it's your meeting. <laughs> I suppose. All right. Uh, next order of business is to select a vice chairperson. Any nominations? I nominate Mara. I'll second. All right, we'll do a, uh, a roll call then. Gary Boisitz? Aye. Henry Posrick? Aye. Mara Spring? Aye. And myself, Jeremy Kyle, I'll say aye as well. Four in favor. All right. And then we need to verify the training requirements. I think, Jill, you said that. Uh, I filed the affidavit with the Department of Revenue yesterday. Um, there are actually four members that have been trained within the last two years of this um, meeting. Um, so we are we are good to go, and then we'll talk a little bit. Jeff can talk a little bit more about the upcoming training requirements that are going into effect next year. Okay, then we'll have Jeff. The, the upcoming the statute actually changed. It used to be at least one voting member within two years of the first meeting. Now they made it at least one member each year has okay. to have training. So that means one of you is going to have to go. We have somebody for next year yet, or? When you say go, you mean go to a? Well, we're not sure. We don't know. When when we watch the video, they they were iffy on what the training is going to consist yeah. of. They, they basically said they don't know if it's going to be in person. What we had now with the, you know, the stick, or if it's going to be, they don't know yet. Or maybe it's just the video every year since yeah. they're making yeah. you do this every yeah. year now. That's mm -hmm. more um, convenient. That I guess. makes sense to me rather than yeah. to do this in person again. Yeah. But and the last time we did it in person, they played the video. Right. Yeah. So, right. so okay. you know, then, I haven't seen this thing in person. I think it was like over ten years ago when I watched when John, John Macy, Macy was doing did it. the right. I think that was yeah. the same for me. Yeah. yeah. So my guess yeah. is it'll just be some kind of a video type thing. So one of you will have to watch it. But one um, thing that Carrie brought up, um, Jeff, is that if someone does the training like later this year, it would probably then be good for that next right. year. So, you know, we could break it up a little bit oh, and sure. still use the, right. the video we have. Yeah. Um, so, so if I feel like watching the video, I can ask her for the chip in November and be eligible next year. Months. And then we'll do it. Pardon? Be good for 12 months. So then. are you, yeah. are we counting then the 12 months from well, I think it's. April we, we think April. it's. Well, does, be, it, does it say if it says prior to the first meeting? From the first meeting. So, what, depending right. on when so that is. So, it would be the 12 months before that. Right. Depends what you call the first meeting, though. When, when right. it is. Right. right. But we have to have it in, in a certain time frame. Right. Yeah, no more of it may be constituted. So, unless at least one member completes each year a training session. Okay. So as long as we're aware of when the next board meeting is, and we one of us hasn't done it, or all of us haven't done it, I guess, 
one of us has to do it before the next meeting, similar to this. And be in attendance. And be in so attendance. So it's probably better if a couple of you yeah, of do course, it. Right, right. Of course. Okay. And we never know the meeting date until. Right. Like right. Now. right. I mean, just, so we yeah. never really, unfortunately, we can't give you a great right. date. Like it's going to yeah. be, we know it's going to be in May. We just don't know. I think it goes Monday. until the first week in June. It's like that 45 day period. Yeah. From the second Monday in May, I think, to the so, so first week in June. So you're safe if you get the chip or the. Do the thing within the first quarter of the each Correct. year. Correct. Right. right. Yeah, that's probably a good way to Ex look at Well, it, right? except that they, the D, uh, the Department of, not Department of Revenue, the UW Extension doesn't put the video. I mean, I just got it not too long ago. Oh, okay. So the second quarter, April, Aprilish. Yeah, so, yeah, I guess you could do, so you could still do the second quarter. Well, no, we're close. Or April. Yeah. yeah. Well, I think, like Kiri said, you're almost better off trying to do it, somebody doing it at the end of this year. Right. Well, sure. Well, or uh, Unless they go ahead and change the training by the but it doesn't say that you have to have the most current training. It just says no. you have to have. Yeah. I mean, if training. you do it next year, you're probably going to have to, you know, it's probably going to be changed, whether there's new laws or not. So you use, <laughs> if you want to do it the first quarter, you use the old yeah. stick, whether they give you the new That's stick. That's right. right. Yeah. Yeah. It says training session under 7303.55. I don't have that statute, but. That's what it's referring to as a training session. So I'm not sure of how it defines what it defines a training session. Well, and when we do. watched the video, they were not sure either, John yeah. Lucy and Mark Pollitt. So, mm -hmm. as, you know, as you mm -hmm. as you, you guys watched it, so you know. So we can kind of get more into that yeah. as next yeah. year rolls around. And when you, you when you send out the request for the date, which you, you know, you, you did this year, you well, like you do every year. Right. And you send it, we're, if we're available, you can remind us, you know, that sure. this is available sure. or not right. or whatever. Mm -hmm. right. One downfall to that, though, is, I mean, I don't know if Jeff's going to continue to watch it every year, but we only had two sticks because there was a pro we thought there was a problem. So having one stick, you have to, your turnaround time. Yeah. You could not come in and think you're going to get it on May 1st. <laughs> yeah, we ended up getting another one. This, yeah. No. They won't let, no, no. No, you can't, yeah. We can't count your hand for that. Yeah, we could probably buy another one. We just yeah. happened to, they gave us another one because we couldn't play it on our PCs. Oh. And there was nothing wrong with it. It was just our security system. Security, right. So they actually sent us another one, so we kind of looked out, so we had, <laughs> okay. we had an extra. It's, it's like I told Jill, the security, it's the stuff that comes through the UW extension at times will not through, come through the security in your own computer. Huh. It does, because I, I've dealt with them for... <clears throat> 40 years now and I mean we get stuff for trips and that stuff that we had I couldn't get it and what I'd be doing is getting somebody else could now open it up well then they'd open it up and send me the pieces of it <laughs> of course you know so it's like it was just frustrating you okay. could set a date I guess next year to allow everybody to come in and watch it if they want well, we we tried that this year. Yeah, it didn't <laughs> work too well. Yeah. yeah, yeah, but I mean, we could do that, yeah. uh, you know, or at least try it. I guess. We could try it again. Sure. Yeah. Well, we're good for twenty twenty one. Right. And it sounds like we just need one, preferably two out of the five of us, maybe April or so. Right. Of twenty twenty two. Right. It again. That'll work right. perfect. And that should work. That yeah. should work. Right one of the four of us can do that. That'll work out. Okay. Good. Anything else, Jeff? No. All right. Thank, thank you. you. And we'll move on to the update from the assessor. Um, we were on track for our original adjournment dates, but due to health issues, Mark in particular, everything got pushed off. So we we're looking to adjourn or review to September 1st now. Right. Uh, possibly with a day or two added on because the reval is in full swing. Uh, we're looking to have all the values finalized around June 23rd with the notices going out the 28th. Then we'd immediately start taking phone calls and scheduling open book appointments. I'd like to have the open book wrapped up um, end of July, July 30th, I think was the date. Uh, yeah, that's what it's on Mark's uh, email. Mm -hmm. So yeah, they're expecting some pretty big increases, perhaps around 30%. Mm -hmm. um, I know we've got anticipating some issues with the commercial properties with COVID. We've already gotten some emails. So we've sent out income and expense reports for property owners to file. We're just getting those back. But um, otherwise, things are on track for these new dates, if that works out for everyone. 
We could be looking though at multiple dates. Yeah, yeah. right. Yeah. Well, I guess year. is what we're looking at. If we're not starting till September first, we could be looking at. Some we're good really news. hoping to answer a lot of questions with the initial round of phone calls, and then if people are insistent with making open book appointments, I don't know if we're doing those in person or through Zoom, how they're working out. But hopefully, we won't have too many going to the board. Mm -hmm. It's really and hard to Bigger say businesses are going to waive. Like they right. did last year, right. so yeah, that that yeah. may have. Oh, and just what? go right to court. Like they do every year. Yeah, right. exactly, and go right to court. Just go so right to court. We'll see how this all plays out. I think three years ago, it was about six people showed up, mm -hmm. somewhere on that. Yeah, that was the most we had. I imagine it might be higher because uh, the market's up even higher since then. Everyone yeah. tells their realtor their market their house is more, and then they want to tell us it's worth less. <laughs> yeah, yeah, isn't that something? Right. Yeah, that's right. Uh, have you heard anything about, because I saw that Governor Evers wanted to get rid of the dark store law, and then the Republicans were trying to take that back, or I don't know which way it came. Um, I think that's not nothing, nothing about it. Just, yeah. It's, it's just, just in limbo. limbo. Yeah. They limbo tried, and it never went anywhere, and I thought they were going to try again now, and I don't think it's going. It's just kind of out there, yeah. just kind of okay. tabled out there. No one's doing anything about it. All right. Okay, Shows up, you show up? <laughs> yeah. Yep. All right. So then, are you uh, wanting us to maybe put two or three dates on our calendar for the uh, board review? Yes, I think we'll. Yeah. We're going to start with what September first, Jeff. We thought September first, which is, is a Wednesday, Wednesday. Okay. but now <laughs> municipal court is that day in Muskego here. So in the that, evening. That starts about four four thirty. So we were hoping if people could. If we're going to expect some objections, if people could start around 10, 11 in the morning, and we'd have to adjourn by 4, at least you'd have to get rid of me by 4. Does that work? Does daytime work for? That's no problem. I should be able to make it work. Does here. I wasn't sure about your kids with school. It's the first day of school. Oh, oh. there we go. <laughs> we planned You're it free. that way, just for you. Yeah. Yeah. You said September 1st? Right. Correct. At 10 a.m.? We're, we're well, that's what we're going to try. That's, yeah. yeah. That works for me. So we'll shoot for that. Okay. Yeah. Now, Linda said she has a part-time job and she works in the morning, but if we have a quorum, we'll just, I think we'll just move forward. Mm -hmm. And, you know, if it's, right. if we have a whole day session, she could always come in. She could come join. In. She just can't yeah. vote on the, on the one that's on the going earlier on ones. when she shows right. up. Right, right. Well, nothing more even for that day. We take a break that if we're going to have, we do what we do in the morning beside at that point. Sure, that way sure. We're, You're done with right, those. Yeah, mm -hmm. right. done at that point. And so then what would be the second day, September 2nd? Right, and that's Thursday. So we try to do it right right in a row, two days in a row. Okay. Maybe we're done. I Maybe not. We don't know. Yeah, we just don't know. Should we try 10 again? Is that... If is it that, works with it, the board. Should we be able to make it work? I mean... Now, is, 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 is some of this pending yet for, because we have talked to Sharon? Or? I wanted to get a commitment from the okay. board because I thought if it doesn't work for them, then there's no point in it. Okay. So we'll talk to Sharon tomorrow. The, the problem is the, the she needs those numbers for budget, so it's a little tight. It's going to be a little tight for her, but it and is what it is just September, because... Lots of times she's got the budget all up and running um, October, and so... Yeah. You know, Tyler just can't, because of staff issues, they just, you know, can't do it any earlier so um, oh and you need a little time when the old book wraps up right to right get to notify the notifications out right again, right give people time to object to the board and are the notifications different because it's reval uh, is it a longer period of time <sighs> that i'm unsure of okay but i think he was shooting shooting for around the 11th or 12th of august right that's what he's yeah. got those are the people that go to open book that then you have to notify yes yeah okay okay Two days in a row at 10 o'clock. Right. First, first and second. second. 10 a.m. And then I guess if we had to go from there. And we'll, yeah, we'll, we'll go from there. Mm -hmm. We'll see what kind of objections we get at the end of August. Yeah. Right. And you'll probably know what kind of business you've had with Open Book and, you know, what's what's out there by then. Because people have been notified. So we don't need to do a thing until September 1st on our end. Is that correct? Correct. That's correct. Correct. Unless you want to go to class. There you go. <laughs> do it all over again. Yeah, yep, for sure. All right. Well, any other matters or discussion? All right. I move to adjourn until September 1 at 10 a.m. I'll second it.
you can just do it all in favor on this one. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. We are adjourned, Ed. Adjourned. Okay. Thank you all for coming. You don't know.